it isn't the late Dr. Thaddeus Venture. I'm glad you're still hanging around. I wanted to thank you for finding Grover Cleveland's presidential time machine for me. I'll give him your regards. Take your time, Monarch. Because the minute you finish your little speech, I'm gonna kill you. What are you, Obi-Wan Kenobi? Just look at you schmucks. I don't think I'm the one in danger here, considering the sad fact that right below you flows the mighty Amazon, teeming with the most gruesome fish to ever... The piranha! No. The shark? No. The piranha? No. And shut up. This isn't a quiz. Now, where was I? Right. <clears throat> the dreaded Candiru, a naughty little fish with a penchant for swimming up a man's urethra to feed on the damaged tissue of the pitiful mass of flesh you once called your penis. That is a total myth. There is no such fish. It's two. No, there isn't. Time out. What? Time out. I'm really hurt. This isn't freeze tag. You can't do that. Okay, so we scrap it? Well, if they won't listen and be fair, I see no reason to continue. It's not entirely us. We tried to listen and they threw pens at me. I threw a pen at you. That was one pen. Well, how would you like it if I threw a pen at you? Uh. Oh. you like that? Nice throw, Sandy Kovacs. Eh, uh, want me to try? Won't be a pen. Oh, 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 see that? That's what I mean. They overreact to everything, see? I get it. I suddenly get it. Your children. That's why my dad put you in the pool and made you duke it out. Newsflash, my dad was a shitty parent. But when my boys cry about fairness, I remind them that fairness is the philosophical tooth fairy. There is no fairness. What'd you guys come here for? Um... Fine, not guys. What did you children come here for? Look, you won't get everything, but you'll get something. Stop with this fairness crap and make some compromises. Then go home to your friends in your goofy costumes and brag about how much you got them. Or you can go back and go, Oh, we didn't get everything we wanted, so we got nothing because we're big babies. What's it gonna be? Ah, uh, fine. OSI? Are you gonna play nice and actually get this stupid thing signed? Here it is. Good. Now look over my changes and sign it. It's as fair as it'll get. And trust me, it's way better than my dad's version. Oh, you're up. Goody. We can start your history lesson. Long before there were loudmouth buff guys in spandex, there was the gentleman villain. His favorite sinister act was this, tying someone to a train track. It's simple and expensive, personal and deadly, but it gives you a little hope. Maybe you'll escape. Lesson's not over, Sonny. <sighs> now. The gentleman villain had these old-school time bombs, three sticks of dynamite wired to an alarm clock. And what was so poetic about that is that they ticked. You could hear them tick, tick, tick. Nowadays, they're just digital. No sound, no peril. Oh, 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 do you hear that? There's the tick. The train is coming. Is it on this track? Tick, tick. Tick, maybe it's the other track. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> Not bad for an old man, huh? I'm gonna get going, but you try to escape. And if you do, tell the peril partnership that the guild isn't scared of punks. If you don't, eh, sorry. <laughs> 